hi you all are welcome here on this channel my name is omar i'm glad to have you all here so today i know we know that everyone makes use of palm oil right we make use of palm oil to eat to, to to make our meals sometimes we make use of it to eat our yams you know we i like it i love yam and oil yes you can call me um a very you know um a native woman but i don't care i love um palm oil and yam right yes so palm oil it's widely used in africa we make use of it to make our soups make your porridge make whatever it is you want even ofako all right yes um you use it to make your ofako the banga soup that you naturally extract from the palm the palm fruit you naturally extract it from there so we make use of it but we don't know that there is a spiritual importance of palm oil palm oil is used to for spiritual bath spiritual purification and to attract spiritual blessings physical blessings i'm telling you do you know that if you are dirty in the spiritual realm it will delay your blessings it will also make sure that you are failing in anything you're doing you will not be succeeding that is what spiritual dirtiness will do because all those things will make you not to succeed it will delay your blessings it will cause blessings delay right our forefathers made use of this for spiritual cleansing for spiritual purification for your purification and spiritual bath it is very simple guys it is very very simple it is something that can be easily done you can easily do it but you have to do this only when you're at home let it be lasting at night all right i'm telling you if you're always having spiritual attacks and setbacks in whatever you're doing after doing this spiritual purification my, your life will change i'm telling you all right okay how do you do this hmm? the only thing you need is your palm oil and water palm oil and water all right get your bucket of water that you're supposed to use to have your bath in the night make sure that it is the last thing you do at night do not go out after you are done and when you are doing going to do this let it be that you are sure that you're not going to be cold because you are going to be sleeping naked you're not going to put on anything and when you do this bath you are not supposed to have any canal knowledge any sexual relationship with your partner so be sure that when you're doing this you are going to be on your own you are going to be meditating with your own special spirits you are going to be meditating with your spirit guides you are going to be you are going to be having a conversation with the spirit guides in the spiritual realm as you're going to sleep all right you know when people say you know some people tell you that um, um sleep is a, is a partial death because when you're sleeping you can move to anywhere you can move to where you can receive your blessings you can move to where you you would destroy that hand that is holding your blessings you can move your spirit can move to different places to go and fight for you that is why you should be spiritually strong then it will take for you to succeed your spirit as you're physically strong your spirit will also be very strong when they are holding your blessings your spirit will definitely go and grab it for you still return back and you will still wake up and if there is if it requires a fight spiritually your spirit will fight and win the battle you see why spiritual work is very important your spirit will work for you win the battle come back return back victoriously all right so what you have to do is just to get is just to get this palm oil all right yes just a little bit of palm oil your bucket of water open it and pour the oil four good times just a boom 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 four times dashes as in dash of oil not so much put it inside the water all right you know that when you pour oil inside water it can never mix together so when you just put it inside it, you start to make your incantations. You start to say all the things you want. Start to affirm good things in your life. State that as you are going to bed, may your spirit, as you are sleeping, may your spirit grab all the good things and filter out the negative things from your life. 
You don't want negativities in your life. You want to be victorious. You want to be successful. You don't need failures. You don't need delays. You don't need disappointments. Whatever it is that would disappoint you, would delay you, you are filtering it out of your life. I don't know what you're going through. I can only say mine, but I don't know about yours. So you open your mouth and affirm. You open your mouth and say whatever it is that you want. After stating it, you do what? Go and use that water to have your bath. No sponge, no soap, no towel, okay? Only that water and the oil. This is an ancient practice. Oil has been something, oil has been used for spiritual practice, for spiritual cleansing, seeding of your environment. Whenever you notice negativities, you can sprinkle oil around the whole place. It could be messy. It could be messy sometimes, but it's worth it. It is worth it. You can do this when you do it at night. When you're done, you go to bed. Okay? In the morning, you can have your proper bath before going out in the morning. You can use your soap and your sponge to have your normal bath before going out. You will see how you sleep like a baby. You will have you will win all the battles that you've lost. I'm telling you, this seems very, 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 you know, easy. It seems very common, but it's not. It is not. Remember that palm oil can be used to destroy poison. Do you know? Do you know that this palm oil, if someone eats anything that contains poison, immediately, if you give the person this oil to drink it, that person will vomit out the poison. And that poison, even if the person does not vomit it out, the poison will be destroyed. Are you aware? If it has the power to destroy already eaten poison that is inside your system, let alone destroying those bad energies that are being sent to you or that you are battling with think about it and don't joke with this information okay i still remain your one and only omar thank you very much for watching god bless you all and see you guys in my next one bye